Hi everyone, um, next update for Exhaven Harbour. Um, I've been up to a fair bit the past week or two. Um, baseboards are done, um, barring once I've got all the point motors in, etc. Um, then putting some more bracing in. Uh, to be honest, it's, it's pretty solid uh, as it is, but um, I wouldn't mind putting a little bit more in there. <coughs> Just yeah, just to make it proper really, I suppose. I don't stop people moaning that you haven't done it right. Um, but yeah, uh, I spent a lot of the day the other day uh, making sky back seams. And my golly, uh, that took eight hours. And uh, it, was, it was a beautiful day. I stood in the garden, but by the end of the day, my back took a right bashing. And... Uh, I ate like mad, and I'll, I'll uh, show you in a minute. Um, I'll include a quick film of me doing it and showing you the technique. Um, I'm happy with, with it in general. Um, John uh, uh, Piccadilly gave me um, a couple of ideas. I didn't use the colours that he told me to because, <laughs> as, as I have done uh, throughout this build so far, I've used stuff that I've got. So I had a nice blue, and basically what I've done is I've used white and a mixture of the white and the blue that I've used for the sky and so on. But John had told me that the, if you look at the horizon on a beautiful sunny day, it's actually white. And he was right. I hadn't really paid attention. I'm not an artist by any means. You'll probably see that in a minute. Um, but yeah, uh, and then I sort of had that mid-blue in the middle and then the darker blue at the top. And I kind of faded it all in by using some sponges. Just a just a cheap bloody car sponge from Tesco's actually. It was about 40p. Even less than that, probably 20. Um, but it did come out okay and I was quite surprised. So, uh, yeah. Other things that I've been doing, uh, right, today really and yesterday, I really started looking at planning the first part of the layout. Um, and this is really what I really wanted to get into. I have got a track plan. Um, I'm not sure whether I can show it to you. Um, basically, it's out of a Pico book for engaged track plans. It's based on an eight, I think it's an eight by four shed plan, and it's a double track, which kind of does a figure of eight, but I've added on um, an extra line that goes into uh, a turbine station, um, very, very loosely based around uh, Sydney as it used to be back in the late 50s, early 60s. And it's, it's a one plat, it's a, it's a one platform, it's got two platforms with one actual platform. It's got a bay platform, well, a shorter platform and one long platform. So when we get to the stage, I'm hoping to run perhaps trains coming in from London, you know, occasionally, and, and one from up north, uh, which has gone via Exhaven Harbour. Where it's dropped off passengers obviously and or or some specials running in running into there so you know um it's because this cabin is bigger than the eight by four shed um, and some of the variations in height that i want to do is taking a little bit of planning and a little bit of working out i mean unfortunately i had loads of sheets left of the insulation um i actually had uh, a load of polystyrene uh, in a box, uh, which is I think it's used for packing. Um, it, it's not great stuff to use, obviously, because as soon as you cut it, it's all the little white balls and it goes everywhere. But you know, I've got it. I'm going to use it, and I'll just hoover it up once I've once I've finished doing what I'm doing. If I need any more, I'll get some more. But um, the way things are, I think I might I might have plenty. But um, there's plenty more in the garage, so. I'll just um, stop you there. Right, now here are some of the sky balls that I've done. And I think you might agree that it's not too bad, you know, considering, I mean, they don't really match up, but, you know, the tops of the sky is the same colour and effectively it's the same sort of cloud all the way through. So, um, yeah, I I was quite surprised with that. I it was um, It's a sort of a kind of a technique that I'd, I'd watched on a channel uh, called Acrylic Painting, I think, on YouTube. And it, it just happened to pop up on my feed one day, just saying 
how to do clouds with a sponge. So I'll have a look at that. And it's an amalgamation of what John told me and what they've done on there. So that's that. As you can see as well, the baseboards are down. Uh, I've got quite a lovely long run all the way round. Round there, right round here. And then we go right down to the end there. Um, I think it's about uh, from the end, from right down at that end, right up to this end is about 18 and a half feet, I think, give or take a few inches. Um, and down this side, it's not so long, obviously, um, because I've got my workbench down in the corner there, which you can't really see. But that is about 14 feet. Um, and it's about eight and a half feet, getting on for nine feet actually, it's about three inches short and nine feet across. So for engage, it's a pretty good run. Um, you, it'll, you'll probably see as time goes on uh, how the track plan evolves, but it is kind of like a double track figure of eight loop, which this end where I have started planning um, will join on to. I wanted to turn in a station on there, as well as the large station that would be at X, X Haven Harbour. Um, but yeah, I've, I think I've worked something out now. And, uh, you know, it's pretty simple, but that's how I want to keep it. I, you know, I don't want stacks and stacks of track everywhere. I want to do scenery. This track will eventually build up and up and up to a bridge which will, in effect, be coming in off the sea and the ships will come through into Exhaven Harbour, making this like a natural harbour. So um, I haven't quite worked out where that's going to be yet, but it's going to be, it depends on how quick I can get it up to what the equivalent would be, 120 feet in engage. So I'm guessing it might be in this corner here. So we'll, we'll wait and see. Um, other than that, what else have I been doing? Oh, something else I found in the garage the other day, and I bought some more of it actually, was this insulation board. And what I've done, uh, because initially I was going to cut it into, um, I, I was going to buy the, is it the Woodland Scenics underlay? And that's quite expensive for the amount that I need. And anyway, I thought, oh, that's very similar, and it's a very similar thickness for engage. Uh, so I've cut loads and loads of strips out ready to make as underlay. I think Simon on Simon Shed used it. Um, for getting round corners, I've what I've done is done a cut, done like a load of chevron cuts in there in, in a strip and that bends quite nicely. I can't do it with one hand. But um, you know as long as you're not too rough with it that, that'll do you a fair old corner. So uh, hopefully I'm not going to have bends too sharp as, as such around here so yeah quite pleased with that so um also i did have some nine millimeter thick uh, stuff like this as well which i'm looking at making my platforms with um if you put it on top of a piece of this three mil and then the nine mil that that brings you up roughly to the height that you need for your for your coaches to go into the platforms I'm going to have a little test of that first. Um, I saw, I don't know whether, if, if many of you have seen Jason Jensen's trains, um, he done a really brilliant effect on this kind of um, insulation stuff. So be interesting to see. Well, that's my lot for now. Uh, hopefully that's okay. More updates to follow. And uh, hopefully speak again soon. Um, by the way, thanks everybody that subscribed. Um, <laughs> I haven't got thousands of subscribers by any means, but it's, it's certainly gone up a few but in the last few weeks. And um, I, I really enjoyed watching a lot of your guys' channels that are out there. Peaks 47, fantastic. Brilliant. I'm getting a lot of inspiration for scenery and stuff with you. Um, as I am with everybody. Um, there are lots of things to be gleaned off of each and every one of us, like from mistakes to all the good stuff. So anyway, like I say, speak soon. Cheers. Now.